Hi, my name's Dave Bronze. I write instrumental guitar music with a Celtic symphonic twist. For my new album, I decided rather than spend £3,000 on a hot rodded Marshall Plexi, I'd make my own. These videos are a diary of that process. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what are you doing now, Dan? You've got headphones on. You've yep. plugged in the power transformer there. Yeah, very safely. Plugged um, in the power transformer. Um, just solder the headphone jack to the highest uh, impedance of the output transformer that you can get. So highest impedance, highest ohms? Highest ohms, yeah, so 16 ohm output on this one. Oops. And doing the very scientific thing of just moving it around and seeing where it comes. Okay, and what causes the hum is just the reaction between the proximity... Yeah, just magnetic coupling between magnetic field. It shouldn't be too bad on this because toroidals are a lot lower radiation. So. Okay, so toroidal is that more like donut kind That's of exactly it. shape one over there. And what do they call these square ones? Is that just box? Just a transformer with bell ends. <laughs> don't, don't laugh at <laughs> it. So, know that when I've built some of my amps with two of the standard kind of box transformers, it really makes a difference which way yeah, you, you point them. Yeah, it's uh, generally radiates out from the coil, but so we're getting a little bit of hum here. Right. Is there a consideration of where you put the output transformer in terms of proximity to where the valves are, or is it okay just to do long cable runs, say if you had like the power transformer at one end of the chassis? Yeah, then, you want to try and keep your, your cables the shortest as possible. Yeah. Obviously, you, you don't want these ones, or the high voltage ones aren't too bad to be honest, but you don't want them running near the preamp basically. Right. Which I've built before and done and it doesn't sound. <laughs> Amazing. So unfortunately, sometimes it's best to have it somewhere in the centre, but that then completely unbalances your own physically. But well, in terms of carrying it? Yeah. It's not me that has to carry it, so I don't care. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing now is you're just, um, just working out roughly where the valves are going to go. So we've got we've looked at the layout and you you want the valves to be as near as possible. Yeah, so you can keep your wire runs as so short. You can keep as your possible, wire runs so. short. So yeah, this one's where that starts. So, so you're going. I'm trying to find out where. Oh, this one here that you've done. Yeah, that's where you've saved some space in it. That one. Yeah, you think. <laughs> Three. The other side of that tool. It's looking quite even actually. It's looking really good. Well, I'd be thankful for that <laughs> for the layout. It falls around these. So you can either have. I'd, I'd actually have them that then. Yeah. Just so it's even. You're just slightly longer, but not so long it's going to cause a problem. It's, I, it's not so important for the PI, is it? For the phase in base? No, you're getting a lot higher voltage by that point, so it's less susceptible. Um, just keeping your plate and cathode. And then the power the valves pressure. literally just line there, them just for just yeah. somewhere. Yeah, because you only got about four wires going to them in total from the output transformer. And Great. Cool, thanks for your help Dan. That's alright. The man with, man with the skills. To think that I started building amps before you. I remember once you asked me for help, how how the tide has turned. How the, uh, yeah. <laughs> you were just sandbagging I said you didn't trust myself with high voltage, Yeah, but now that you've given yourself a few electric shocks, um, it's all good. You're not a proper amp builder until you've had a couple of electric <laughs> shocks. Top tip, finger. never build amps when you're tired. <laughs> never build amps when kids and pets All are around. All frustrated. All frustrated, yeah. That's the worst. Um, yeah, never answer the phone. That's how I did one. Someone called me and I put me, I sort of lent into the amp and got the full belt off the thing. So yeah, all right, safety tips. Yes. Do it all on this block. So that's the chassis layout done. Uh, next video we're gonna drill the holes for all the valve sockets. Guys, I hope you're really enjoying these videos. They're just really basic introduction to uh, amp building 
and I'd love it if you guys uh, perhaps went off and researched more about all the aspects of building an amp, maybe bought an amp kit from somewhere like Modulus Amps. Um, my aim is just to share, to take some of the fear out of trying this stuff basically, we're looking, going to look at using a soldering iron, drilling, all these kind of uh, skills. Uh, really they just take practice and I hope you're getting an insight into a little bit about how they all work. So guys please subscribe to the channel, don't forget to check out the next video coming up and please 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 head over to davebronze.com and listen to my music, uh, check that out, spread the word, I'd be really grateful. Thank you so much.